हेलो इंजीनियर्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू सिविल निर्माण आई फाउंड लॉर्ड ऑफ इंजीनियर्स स्ट्रगल्स विद द मैनुअल वैलिडेशन विद द सॉफ्टवेयर राइट सो हियर वी आर बैक अगेन विद अनदर मैनुअल वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ द कॉलम डिजाइन रिजल्ट्स विद द मैनुअल चेक वेलकम बैक टू सिविल निर्माण वेयर वी टर्न कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन टू इजी लर्निंग सो today i have considered one sample model over here uh, which is uh, as you can see over here and already the load parameters and the load combinations are implemented it is already designed but we will validate those results with the manual calculation so that you will get an idea how stad is designing everything so let's check it out so for your understanding this particular model has been developed and here the beam sizes are 3 uh, 250 by 350 column sizes are 350 by 400 right and here uh, we have this two circular columns as well right loading is already applied with the few loading and the load combinations uh, if i talk about the parameter part in the concrete design is 456 here we have implemented uh the steel grade concrete grade minimum main and maximum main diameter with the clear cover definition and torsion is neglected okay so let's first understand how stad is analyzing the structure and designing uh the column so basically column designs are done for the axial forces and biaxial moments at the ends all the active load cases are checked uh, to calculate the reinforcement detailing right see the loading which yields the maximum reinforcement is called the critical load so we need to identify the crit critical load once we design a stat will give you that particular result as well that for which governing load combination it is getting designed column design is done for the square rectangle and circular sections but by default square and rectangle columns are uh, are designed and they are designed with the reinforcement distributed on each side equally for the sections under the biaxial moments and with the reinforcement distributed equally in two faces for the section under uniaxial moment i'll repeat for your understanding see in stad by default means even if you don't specify any design parameters by default by default square and rectangle columns and design with the reinforcement distributed on each side equally for the section under biaxial moments and with the reinforcement distributed equally in two faces for the section under uniaxial moment see you can change the default arrangement of the reinforcement with the help of the uh, design parameters which is already specified over here right so here we have so many several parameters and for that particular you have this specification of r phase as well that how you want to design it whether it is a uh, reinforcement distribution based on two phase distribution or four phase equal distribution now let's understand see depending upon the member lengths section dimensions and effective length coefficient specified stat will automatically calculates and determines the criteria whether it is a short column or long column and based on that it will perform the design now all the major criteria for selecting longitudinal and transverse reinforcements uh, which are specified in our is 456 it is all the parameters which are taken care in the design also default column design output uh, contains means the track parameter which you specified it contains the reinforcement which is provided by the stad and the capacity of the section so with the option track 1 the output contains the intermediate results such as the design forces effective length coefficients additional moments etc and all the detailed design output is given in track 2 if you wish more detailed design right now let's understand how stad performs the design so the i i'll show you one segment i have summarized over here okay for your understanding uh, the column design philosophy which is followed in stat pro so we will understand this quickly and then we will switch for the design part so as you can see the flow chart over here say it will start with the minimum percentage of steel okay based on your gross area 
and uh, it will work out uh, this particular based on the equation of the area of steel minimum divided by the gross area okay AST is the minimum steel area and AG is your gross concrete area in the next step what it does it will calculate the moment capacity so it will use uh, your this PST calculated value and axial load to calculate the columns moment capacity which is mu x1 and mu y1 right you can refer to the sp16 chart as well or you can go ahead with the normal hand calculations so in our our philosophy in our validation we will utilize the sp16 chart in the further session i i'll show you how to do that okay so don't skip any particular part so in this step in the next step what it will perform it will calculate the iteration uh, it will calculate the interaction ratio IR okay now in this particular if this interaction ratio is greater than 1 so it will increase your uh, P gross value and repeat this particular step 2 and 3 again if it is less than 1 then it will proceed for the next step okay so here uh, is the fundamental which I talked about right in the next step it will finalize the steel details means uh, once your interaction ratio is satisfactory it will finalize the bio diameter and arrangement okay and it will recalculate your provided steel percentage and in the last step uh, it will perform the checks so based on your P gross which is the provided if it is greater than or equal to 0.8 percent then the net concrete area will be equal to the gross area right and if the area of required concrete is worked out based on the equation of your this AG minus AG cross okay and I have specified the equation as well for your understanding now in next step if your cross p value is less than 0.8 right then the net concrete area is less than the gross area and a ac required will be worked out right based on the following equation so you can refer this flow chart values uh, i will attach this uh, flow chart value as well i will attach this flow chart in the description box so you can download it check out the link in the description for downloading this particular flowchart right right now let's understand the calculation portion and start all right so now let's run the analysis first quickly so i have run the analysis we will check out the results further okay I'll go to the post processing mode I'll click on OK button right and uh, see uh, in the design part I just forgot to tell you that uh, I have implemented limited print value to design this particular column okay so this is the column val uh, for which we are gonna design all right so we will check out the output further I'll click on the output option all right so here the column design is visible and you can check M25 grade FE415 length is specified column section is specified cover is specified right and it is specifying guiding load case 5 right and it is considered as a short column right so it is designed for this particular force 479.96 it has calculated some initial moments moments due to minimum eccentricity and then the total design moments are worked out over here all right and based on this whatever the governing moment uh, we will have based on this this required steel area and concrete area are provided and based on that 
percentage of reinforcement is converted here in terms of main reinforcement and tie reinforcement now okay uh, section capacity is also specified the pu value uh, the moment value for both the direction for the x for the z and for the y and interaction ratio is also specified over here right so this is based on the required capacity and here we have the section capacity based on provided value okay this is required this is provided now we will verify this values with the manual calculation from the beginning so let's try to validate how stat is calculating this so first of all as it is governing load case is 5 we will check that values over here so I'll make it in the new view first right I'll click on the design part concrete design it is specifying you over here with the load case 5 so I'll go to the post processing tab I'll check the combination 5 I'll click on that particular combination so whatever governing results I have over here it will be based on that combination right so let's check the moment values over here uh, I can turn that bending moment diagram over here from this now I'll click on the N0 option and we will check out the bending moment values I'll press shift O uh, to highlight you uh, the column axis right and control 2 for your orientation okay so you will get an idea about the section profile what is the section profile that we have we have section profile of 350 by 400 right I'll go to the post processing again I'll turn on the values click on annotate button I'll go to the beam results start and end so this particular moment that you are getting is your moment about Z okay it is about Z you can see the local axis over here this is about Z so 1.64 and 4.06 similarly you can check out the moment about y as well 145 and 172 so it has specified the initial moment 1.64 and 1.72 here right the as an initial moment now we will validate this so for your understanding for your better understanding uh, I have developed one sample exercise in the Excel program to validate the results quickly right so let's check out this uh, so it is very simple pretty simple uh, you can also develop the similar Excel uh, on your own as well we have just link a few formulas uh, with respect to the calculation nothing else okay so all the yellow shells are for the input part so you can check out the grade value I have specified steel grade I have specified concrete grade is also specified over here now based on the stat parameters the effective depth and the concrete cover is the important definition that you need to understand okay so first I have specified the column size as 350 by 400 I have marked the column here in the plan view for your better understanding right 350 by 400 over here span is 3 meter for our column uh, the clear cover which is specified for the column is 40 mm okay diameter of the main reinforcement which I am considering right now is 20 mm and for the setup it is 8 mm width of column is 350 mm okay now see for the stair definition of cover is something like this okay it is distance between the edge of section and the outermost main reinforcement bar so instead basically your clear cover parameter is your cover value uh, plus the stirrup value right so it is 40 plus 848 that what it is specified in stat and the effective uh, depth which I'm talking D dash so it is basically cover plus your 1 by 2 diameter of the main reinforcement plus diameter of the stirrup so ultimately uh, if I calculate my cover is 40 mm diameter of main reinforcement is 20 mm right and it has to be 1 by 2 here we are doing 1 by 2 plus 
stirrup so if you calculate the effective depth it will be 58 I hope up to this it is clear now see uh, to work out the values uh, I have uh, draw a simple sketch to make you understand about the axis part see for the column the local axis along the length is your X the green one is the Z and the red one is the Y right now the same local axis I have drawn over here for your understanding right so for the column it is different right so make sure you don't get confused with that okay this one is for the beam this is for the beam local axis and this one is for the column I have drawn over here for your easy understanding so MZ and MY is the value that we need to check out right so we will start for both the axis so we have specified the Z and Y axis over here so the first value that I'll enter that I have considered overall depth of section in the direction of bending right so in the direction of bending Z is 350 and Y is 400 right then uh, the values uh, for your understanding uh, which I specified is width of section perpendicular to the bending so if width of the section perpendicular to the bending so 400 is the value perpendicular to your Z axis right similarly width of the section perpendicular to the bending for the Y axis it will be 350 okay so don't get confused with that D dash we have already calculated how I have calculated I shown you with the equation over here cover plus 1 by 2 diameter of the main reinforcement plus stirrups right now as I have shown you the flow chart that we have understood the way it is calculating so for working out all these parameters first of all we need to work out uh, whether the column is falling in the slenderness uh, means in the short column or long column so first of all it will identify whether the column is long or short right so in the Excel I have simply put in a formula over here just to provide a criteria if the slenderness ratio is uh, greater than 12 then consider it as a slender column otherwise consider it as a small column right so we will work out the effective length over here now for your understanding I have provide prepared a detailed calculation as well so let's check out this right so we have identified our column as a short column now we will work out the critical load values right so I have summarized the values over here the actual load for which it is designed then I have bifurcated the moment values from my column at the start location and at the end location okay so simply I have put it value over here from the stat itself nothing else so if I'll go to the post processing mode again I'll show you the values I'll click on the MZ option I'll turn on the values from this annotate option beam results uh, we will turn on the values right 1.64 and 4.06 now make sure your governing load case is active over here otherwise you will be getting a uh, different load values over here so you need to check your governing load combination and turn it on based on the selection otherwise by default if you go it will show you the values based on the different load case which is active over here so make sure the right governing load case is active over here so based on that uh, the moment at the start and end node is specified 1.64 and 4.08 right so that's what I have entered over here you can check out press shift E so green is my start blue is my end similarly uh, I'll check out the MY value as well right so for the MY the bending moments are 172 and 145 so that value I have entered over here 172 145 